Right, this is a lecture on the hypergeometric series and it's on the special functions course. Right, now, the hypergeometric series, this is defined here. So we have P on the lower, and this is denoted as the number, denoted as the number of different values up here. Q is the number of different values down here. So we've just named these A1, A2, A3, up to AP, and B1, B2, so to BQ. And then we're given here, we give, give a line, and we put Z. And we can put this as the sum here, summation, n is 0 to infinity of f of n times z to the power n. So z is our function here. And our f of n, this is defined here. Uh, there's lots of defining, but it, it's not that hard to learn, really. Um, we have the a1, so our first value from here, with an n low, in the lower. Now this here is denoted as here. So it's like a it's like a reverse factorial almost. So we have a times a plus one all the way up to a plus n minus one. So that's we've got the n here. Uh, so we got these, these all multiplied together. And then underneath we do the exact same with the b values, and we multiply this by n factorial. And one thing which uh, we use quite a lot in order to find a value of this is we can use this here, which is f of n plus 1 divided by f of n. So this, this, this is almost just about the same as this function here, because it's going to infinity. Um, and then you get this n plus a1, dot, 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 n plus a p, so all the different values, n plus b1, all the different values, n plus b p. And this is always multiplied underneath by n plus 1, so that's what we'll try and find the majority of the time. Um, this should be an f. f of naught is equal to 1. That's just something which you don't really use that much. Right, some examples. So like I say, we've got a and b here on the top. And we've got 2, because there's 2 up here. 1, because there's a 1 here. Uh, and we've got our z, because we've just multiplied by zn. So we've got the a n, the b n, the c n, and the n factorial. So that's how we're donating that. Denoting that. I would say donating. Right. If we have the exponent, this is another example. E to the z. Well, we know that uh, we know the Taylor series for that. And if we put that together in a summation, then we get uh, zero to infinity of z n over n factorial. That is one that you should know. For these, there's quite a lot of. If you don't know them, just googling the Taylor series of different things like sine and cosine and that. And what we've got here, so we've got the n factorial, but we've got no a's and b's on top, just the zn, and we've got nothing on the bottom either. So we have none on top, none on bottom, so we have just, just blanks and then a z, so we can put that as well. Now I think we've got an example. Right, we want to find a hypergeometric series of sine. Now the Taylor series for sine, this is z minus z cubed over 3 factorial plus z5 over 5 factorial minus z7 over 7 factorial. Now we always want to start these with beginning with a 1 because when we're summing uh, we have n equals 0, this will always be the value 1. So we can't start with a, a z. So what we're going to do first is substitute the value z, uh, t is equal to z squared. Is that right? Oh no, first what we can do is we can divide by z. So if we divide this entire thing by z, then that will go to 1. This will go to z squared. So we divide by z. And then we can also, and now to make this a bit simpler, because we also need to start with just a, we go z, then z squared, then z cubed will sub z equals the square root of t. So if you put that in, I kind of don't the other way around here. And then we do that, and let's go to 1 minus t plus t squared, t cubed, and we see we're dividing by the square root of t. Now if we were to put this together in a summation, which is what we want to do to work out the hypergeometric series, then we're going to have, uh, well this, this t value alternates, we'll have minus t to the n, 
and then we'll also underneath well, we've got 2n plus 1 factorial and you just need to work these out really just, you can look, work them out by looking sometimes or sometimes you can also just google if, you, if you're not in an exam now what we want to do is we've got this is our our fn here is going to be minus 1 to the n and 2n plus 1 factorial so one trick you always do is you divide so you do f of n plus 1 divided by f of n which will give you this so we've got so I've taken out the minus 1 so we're just left with the uh, t to the power n so that's why I've got your minus 1 to the n divide them, you get this then you can simplify so these go to just the minus 1 um, and s since this one's a bit higher this, this is basically this is just this multiplied by 2n plus 2 and 2n plus 3. Now we want to get this in the form that has an n plus 1 underneath so if we just divide this by a half so we take out a value of 2 and we do the same here as well, take out another 2 so we want them to start with an n then we'll get 4 n plus 1 n plus 3 over 2 and we've got the minus 1 on top. So We've got our n plus 1, so this is going to be our, our a value underneath, uh, sorry, our b value underneath, and we haven't actually got any a's on top, but we're multiplying it all by minus a quarter. Yes, yeah, so we've multiplied it by minus a quarter, this is what we've got, so the n plus 1, this, we can ignore this, but this is our first value. So we've got 3 over 2 here, but there's nothing on top, so we haven't got n plus anything on top. So we've got nothing there, so we've got 0, 1, and then we've got a half times the t, because we've got t's here. But we want to turn it back into z's, because that's what we started with. So we get sine z equals z, because this is just moved up, and then transform back into z, because root t is z, and then we've got minus z squared over 4 here. Yeah. Right, I've decided to put an example on for people to solve, and then I'll answer in the bottom if you got it right. Uh, we want to find the hypergeometric series for tan inverse z. So it's going to be of this form. It's going to have a z here. So again you can work out that you're going to be dividing by z to make it a bit nicer. So make it always start with a 1. And you're going to have 2 on top and 1 underneath and it's going to have a, a minus z squared. And a, a hint is to not really use the Taylor series but if you use the fact that tan inverse z is integral 0 to z of dt 1 plus t squared. If you find the Taylor series for that, and then you can uh, integrate it and just follow on from there. Any problem, just post in the comments.